Hello, and thank you for visiting worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at multiplying decimals on a place value chart, and we'll be using these worksheets. You can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find them under our multiplication videos, and this one's entitled Multiplying Decimals on a Place Value Chart. Word problems, decimals through hundredths. Let's take a look at the first. Number one, Gareth bought three bags of salted caramels to make four batches of cookies. If each bag cost $3.53, how much did Gareth spend on the caramels altogether? So you probably noticed right at the end in the form of a question, we have our math job and it's important to understand what the problem is asking of us. So let's take a look. So we've got how much, how much, did Gareth spend on the caramels altogether? So now we know our math job, we can go back to the beginning and see if we can tease out some of these math clues. First sentence, Gareth bought three bags of salted caramels. Did you catch that? Three bags, if you're thinking that, good for you. That is important information that'll help us solve this problem. So three bags of salted caramels to make four batches of cookies. Four batches of cookies, hmm. It sounds like math information, but does it help us solve our math job? Absolutely not. It's irrelevant information. Well, let's move on. If each bag costs $3.53, so that's each bag, each bag costs $3.53, how much did Gareth spend on the caramels altogether? So now we have enough information to solve this problem. We have two bits of known information. We have the number of bags, three, and how much each cost, $3.53. So if you were thinking multiplication, you'd be absolutely correct. We have this expression, $3.53 times three. And we have to represent this on the place value chart. And you can look to this three to think, hmm, I have three groups of $3.53. So let's go ahead and represent that on the place value chart. And if I'm moving too quickly for you, feel free to pause the video and resume whenever you're ready. All right, let's get started. So now that we have $3.53 times three represented on the place value chart, we can go ahead and start bundling up groups of tens, starting at the hundredths place, at the hundredths place. So you can see we have over here three, six, nine hundredths. Do we have enough to make a tenth? Absolutely not. So that means we are ready to put our first bit of information in our product in there. We have nine hundredths. That's the first part of our product. So we'll move on to the tenths place and we'll we'll try to bundle up some some tenths. If we have ten tenths, that would equal one whole. And you can see that five plus five equals ten. So 10 tenths would definitely equal one whole. So there you have that. And do we have enough to make more? Or another group of 10 tenths. We have one, two, three, four, five. Nope, we only have half as much. So we'll take that five and use that as the next bit of our product. So we have 59 hundredths so far. And we'll hit the decimal point right there. And now we can move on to the ones place and we'll continue this process. We'll bundle up ones to see if we have enough to make a 10. Let's take a look. We have three here, six plus one would be seven and seven plus three would definitely equal 10. So we can bundle up those ones to make a 10. So we'll regroup and make a 10 leaving us with zero ones and one tenths. We can enter that into our product. We'll use the digit one to represent the number of tens we have, and we have zero. We have zero ones for a total of $10.59. So we've used numbers in our expression. We've used pictures or a visual in our place value chart with our number disks, and we need to put our answer, answer in a complete sentence that answers our math job. So how much did Gareth spend on the caramels altogether? If you were thinking, Gareth spent $10.59 on caramels altogether, you'd be absolutely correct. But let's move on to the next problem. Debbie wanted to purchase four dozen snickerdoodle cookies. 
She uses them as treats for her seven-year-old parrot. If the cookies cost $2.35 per dozen, this is the total cost of the cookies. And there you have, once again, your math job at the end in the form of a question. What is the total cost of the cookies? So let's go through and see if we can find some relevant clues, relevant math information that will help us solve our math job. First sentence, it says Debbie wanted to purchase four dozen snickerdoodle cookies. So if you were thinking four dozen is important information, you'd be absolutely correct. So that would be four dozen snickerdoodle cookies. That's how much she wants to purchase. So we'll move on to the next sentence. And it says she uses them as treats for her seven-year-old parrot. Ah, you see the number seven, right? Is that relevant information that will help us with our math job to solve the math job? Absolutely not. If you're thinking no, good, good for you. Well, let's move on. If the cookies cost $2.35 per dozen, $2.35 per dozen, let's, let's check that out. Would that help us solve our math job? Absolutely. So for each dozen she purchased, purchases, they cost $2.35. So now we're going someplace. We have $2.35 per dozen and she's buying four dozens. You're probably thinking, once again, multiplication. Awesome. And we have this expression. $2.35 representing the price per dozen of the cookies. And we need four dozen cookies. Or Debbie wanted to purchase them according to the problem. As you can see, we have one time represented here, two dollars thirty-five cents, or two and thirty-five hundredths. And now we need to represent that four times to show the four dozens on the place value chart, and you can see that right there. Well, let's move on. So now we can get to the second step. Once we have it listed or shown or represented on the place value chart, we can go through and bundle. So now you can see in the hundredth place we have five plus five would be a group of 10. So we can represent that. And we'll go ahead and trade in or bundle up our 10 hundredths to equal 1 tenth. And we'll do the same down below here. You can see, hmm, you're probably thinking, ah, we have another group down here. And if you were thinking that, awesome, good for you. We can group or bundle or regroup the, that group of 10 hundredths to equal 1 tenth. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we have, you can see in a hundredths place, we have all the original hundredths bundled up. So that gives us zero hundredths in our product. And we'll move on, continue the bundle, the tenths. So you can see we have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so there's a group of ten, ten tenths, and if you're thinking ten tenths equals one whole, awesome, right, so you could trade them in or regroup or bundle up to get one, one, so ten tenths would equal one whole. So now you can look down and you can see, oh, do we have enough here to make another group of 10? Let's see, one, two, three, four. You probably eyed that and thought, mm -mm, no, you cannot. So we have another bit of our product. We have four tenths. We get to the decimal point, we'll represent that. There we go. And move on to the ones place. And if you see that, you, can, you think, hmm, do I have enough to make another 10. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Absolutely not. We have a 9 in the ones place of our product. So we'll show that with a digit 9 right there. And that would be $9.40. So did we solve our math job? What is the total cost of the cookies? And we have $9.40. We showed numbers with our expression, 235 times 4, $2.35, or 2 and 35 hundredths times 4. We represented that on a place value chart, so there's our picture or visual. And we have our answer, however, do we have it in the complete sentence? Not yet. So if you were thinking the total cost of the snickerdoodle cookies is $9.40, awesome, you'd be perfectly correct. So that was a quick look at multiplying decimals on a place value chart. 
Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.